Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing a quick eye look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. This palette has such pretty colors. It has a crazy range of just like cool tones, warm tones, literally like anything you really need is in this palette. And if you stay till the end, there possibly might be a giveaway. So be sure to watch this whole video through and you can find out how to enter. So let's get started. So today we're going to be working with the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. You can't really see it because my brightness is up so high, but I'm really excited to try this out because I've heard nothing but good reviews. But first we're going to prime our eyelids with my Max Paint Pot. I haven't used this in a really long time, but I just want my eyeshadow to stay all day and just really pop because sometimes when I use just concealer as my eyeshadow primer, the eyeshadows don't pop as much as when you use a Max Paint Pot. So we're going to see how this does. Then I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger so it's a little bit more seamless. So this is my eyes with Max Paint Pot and this is it without it. So I feel like I need to set my eyelids and I'm gonna do it with my Dermablend setting powder. Then I'm just gonna immediately wipe it off. It's finally time to go into the palette. So I think I'm probably just going to do like a rosy, peachy look because that's like my favorite kind of looks. And obviously you see this palette can be either like warm tones or cool tones, but you know me, I love the warm tones. So definitely going to try some of these colors. I'm going to take this color right here and blend it into my crease. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade and putting it right underneath the crease, but not really on the lid. This is super crazy pigmented. I'm definitely used to my Morphe 350, and like the peach color is not this crazy. So I'm just going to be seamlessly blending that into the brown color. Then I'm going to be putting this all over my lid. Okay, this is a really, really pretty color. I'm like obsessed with this one. Don't worry if your eye look gets messy. You can always clean it up and blend it out. Then I'm going to go in with the brown color that we used first and blend all of it out into my crease. Then we're going to go in with shimmers. I'm going to be taking this one and putting it all over my lid. Sometimes I feel like shimmers just go on a lot better if you use your finger to apply it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is such a pretty color and I think it goes really well with the look. For this eyeshadow, I didn't really have to press it in super deep to get any pigment. Like I just did like a little light swatch and it came off like this. So I would say the pigmentation is like crazy good. It's a little light so I'm going to go in with this shimmery color right here and put it on top of it as well. I think I'll like this a little bit better. This look is really beautiful but I am going for like an everyday like brunch type deal right now. So I think I'm going to mute it down with like a brownish lid color or just like a little bit of a darker everyday color. So let's see what we can find. I'm going to go in with this and layer it on top of the lid. Okay, this definitely like tones it down a little bit more. This looks perfect. Now we're going to take a makeup wipe and clean everything up a little bit. So my eyeshadow is all done and I really, really love the pigmentation. When Jaclyn Hill was saying how her formulas are different than normal Morphe shadows, I can totally see that because even though the other ones are pretty pigmented, these are just crazy pigmented and buttery too. I really recommend this palette for anyone that really likes the colors that it has. Personally, for me, I just have so many eyeshadow palettes, I really don't need another one, so I'm actually borrowing my sister's right now. Shout out to you, Nisha. But if I didn't have so many palettes, I would definitely try to get one of these. I'm going to put a full face of makeup on and maybe pop some lashes on if I'm feeling fancy, and I will be right back. 
So this is the completed eye look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this eye tutorial and now on to the giveaway. So I will be giving away a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette to one lucky winner. I think my last giveaway was like a Christmas giveaway like maybe a couple years ago which is insane because I remember like getting all this stuff and like filming for it and stuff like that. And by this point I may have hit 11,000 subscribers or just right under it. So I just wanted to say a quick thank you for everyone out there who supports me, who watches my videos, because this is a hobby that I love to do, and it just makes it that much more awesome that people actually enjoy and watch my videos. So I will be giving away a Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette to one lucky winner. So there are three steps to this giveaway. The first one is to like this post that will be on my Instagram once you start watching this video, and then follow me and underscore simply Sabrina on Instagram. The second step is to follow Sabrina's newsletter and my YouTube channel. Once you go to follow our Instagrams, we will actually be having a link in the bio that will take you to her blog and my YouTube channel so it can be really easy and simple for you guys to subscribe to both. And the last step is to tag three friends in the comments of the giveaway picture on my Instagram. So I hope you guys enter this giveaway because this is such a pretty palette and I totally would save one for myself, but I just really don't need any more eyeshadow palettes to be honest. I have too many already. All the rules and details about the giveaway, again, will be in the description below. So I recommend just checking that out really quick just to make sure you entered properly. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.